Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today I'm going to be talking about Mad Streets. Mad Streets is developed and published by Craft Shop Arts. It released on August 27th of 2021, and it's a beat-em-up party game. Uh, this game is also an ID and Xbox title, and it's actually $19.99 on Xbox. Um, so this particular game is, like I said, it's a beat-em-up, and so you just take control of a character, and you can have Three other characters on the screen that you're going to have to fight. Uh, you can do this with multiple controllers, you can do it with bots, lots of different game uh, game uh, modes in this as well. So you have your standard like fight mode, which you have like Mad Rush, uh, Rumble, uh, Random, with this, which is crazy different fights, uh, One Punch, which means a single hit wins, and then there's Stadium mode, which kind of lets you put the settings that you want together. Uh, there's also practice and training in the game. Uh, the controls are also very simple. They're just different uh, A, B, and X, and Y are how you punch. And then doing some special modes, moves with your bumper uh, and then your triggers uh, as well. Um, you can also taunt with your left, uh, with your D-pad, excuse me. And then you move and block with your sticks. Uh, the game itself is not very well made in my opinion uh, as far as like beat em ups like this go this is probably one of the weaker ones uh, part of the problem here is, is that it's kind of laggy and glitchy and it's a mess when it comes to like being consistent with what you're trying to do and it's kind of just a random assortment of stuff you'll see in this video actually that my character gets stuck on the ground and can't get up <laughs> which happens quite a bit honestly in the game uh, I tried to figure out how to get him to get up, but there's no, like, nothing. It's just an issue with the game breaking. Uh, but for the achievements, they're pretty straightforward. I uh, used to complete different mad rushes with different characters and winning fights without taking damage and stuff like that. But I think most of this stuff you can actually unlock by playing with the second controller. There might be some other situations uh, that you can help get these achievements as well. Um... I do think Bills has a guide actually for this game, so you might want to check that out. It'll only take you an hour or two to complete it achievement-wise uh, if you use this guide, so I highly recommend it. Um, overall, the game is just uh, its kind of a hot mess when it comes to the quality. Uh, there's not a whole lot to like here. As far as beat-em-ups, there's so many better beat-em-up party games out there. Well, beat-em-up or party games or both out there that... Uh, this would not be one that I would spend $20 on in order to get, uh, you know, other than if you want the achievements or you just want a game, you know, that's not very good. Um, they do so in the game that they have online coming at some point. Uh, that would definitely boost up the quality of the game some, just because you could play online. That currently doesn't exist in the game, though, so until they do, that definitely doesn't, uh, you know, it's not obvious that the game is all that popular anyway, so I'm not certain that that would be a big boon to the game as it is. Um, though, you know, having party game, you know, party mode where you can play against online friends is a good idea. Uh, with that said, this game still wouldn't be worth it, even if you had that available already. Uh, if they do put it out, then that definitely gives it a bonus, though. Um, I'm gonna give this game a 4 out of 10. It's just not very good. Uh, most of the, like I said, the controls are bad, and they don't work very well. And it's kind of just a messy, glitchy mess. And so, and maybe if they'll fix it down the road. Uh, I think there's already been one or two title updates in the game, but I haven't seen much noticeable difference from that perspective. So, uh, yeah, maybe they'll fix it, but overall I would just try to avoid this one. That's pretty much all I got for this. Uh, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and have a nice day, guys.